ఈ సెమిస్టర్ ఫైవ్ సిబిసిఎస్ సిలబస్ పేపర్ నెంబర్ టెన్ ఈజ్ మైక్రోబయాలజీ ప్లాంట్ పెథాలజీ అండ్ మష్రూమ్ కల్చర్ టెక్నాలజీ ఇన్ దిస్ యూనిట్ నెంబర్ త్రీ ఈజ్ ప్లాంట్ పెథాలజీ విచ్ ఇన్క్లూడ్స్ ప్రివెన్షన్ అండ్ కంట్రోల్ ఆఫ్ ద ప్లాంట్ డిసీజెస్ వి విల్ స్టార్ట్ టు స్టడీ దిస్ టాపిక్ విత్ ప్రివెన్షన్ అండ్ కంట్రోల్ ఆఫ్ ద ప్లాంట్ డిసీజెస్ దేర్ ఆర్ మెనీ ప్లాంట్ డిసీజెస్ అబ్జర్వ్ ఇన్ కల్టివేటెడ్ ఆర్ నాన్ కల్టివేటెడ్ క్రాప్ ప్లాంట్స్ it forms loss in the fruit or grain quantity and quality of the productivity to avoid such loss of the products preventive methods or practices are essential the transmission of pathogens may be airborne seed borne or soil borne some common methods used to control the plant diseases are cultural method physical method biological method and chemical method This slide shows cultural method some cultural practices of the growers avoid the pathogen from host it reduces pathogen inoculums some of them are as follows first crop rotation this method is applicable satisfactorily in soil borne plant diseases in this method the pathogens that infect plants becomes inactive due to their absence of host for 3 to 4 years if any disease occurs continuously year after year on some crop the crop rotation for 3 to 4 years gives best results for controlling diseases the diseases caused by nematodes or soil fungi are controlled by crop rotation for example ఫిప్ స్మట్ షుగర్ కేన్ ఆర్ గ్రెయిన్ స్మట్ ఆఫ్ జవార్ సెకండ్ మెథడ్ ఈస్ ఫీల్డ్ శానిటేషన్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ద బెస్ట్ ప్రాక్టీస్ ఇన్ ఫీల్డ్ ఫార్ ప్రివెన్షన్ అండ్ కంట్రోల్ ఆఫ్ సమ్ డిసీజెస్ ద ఇన్ఫెక్టెడ్ ప్లాంట్స్ దేర్ డెబ్రీ షుడ్ బీ ఇరాడికేట్ ఆర్ డిస్ట్రాయ్ టైమ్ టు టైమ్ టు అవాయిడ్ స్ప్రెడింగ్ ఆఫ్ పెథోజిన్ ఆన్ హెల్దీ ప్లాంట్స్ some fungal and bacterial diseases can be avoided with help of this method third method is use of pathogen free propagating material the propagating material of various crops are available in market as per quarantine rules and inspected or certified propagating seeds are taken for cultivation by growers and this is the best practice to prevent many diseases seed treatments before propagation farmers directly use the seeds from storage for further cultivation such seeds are contaminated by pathogen and their reproductive structures are also contaminated before the cultivation of these seeds seeds can be treated with various chemicals like cold treatment hot air hot water treatment such treatment kills or inactivate the pathogen fungicides bactericides organic inorganic chemicals are used for seed treatments to remove soil borne diseases the next method is use of resistant varieties avoid the use of local propagating material for cultivation today number of plants have the disease resistant varieties use of disease or pest resistant varieties is useful to avoid diseases it is less expensive easy and safe method for control of plant diseases for example new resistant varieties of sugarcane co85004 prabha co86032 naina co86249 bhavani co87025 kalyani co89029 gandhak co87044 uttara colk94184 uttar pradesh variety CO740, CO8014, CO299, all these are disease resistant varieties, new varieties.
these new resistant varieties of sugar cane reduces plant diseases then the next method is physical method physical agents used to control plant diseases high or low temperature dry air hot air light wavelengths uv lights alpha beta gamma radiations x rays these are used to control diseases of the plants we will start to study the first method which is physical method soil sterilization by heat soil is a core of different pathogens those who causes soil borne diseases it is natural culture medium to the crop plants at necessary level we can able to apply this method soil can be sterilized in greenhouse or in seed beds on cold farms by heat carried in live or aerated steam or hot water at 50 degree centigrade nematodes most pathogenic fungi bacteria along with worms sludge and chilopoda animals like centipedes are killed at temperature between 70 to 80 degree centigrade the next method is soil solarization during the summer season temperature at the top 5 cm of soil is 52 degree centigrade which may be 37 degree centigrade in the porous soil or in the odd season if sunny weather continues for several days or week the increased soil temperature from solar heat is called as a solarization it inactivates many soil borne pathogens fungi nematode and bacteria near soil surface this process reduces the inoculums of pathogens and method is convenient for the nursery drying stored grains and fruits this method is utilized to reduce airborne diseases all grains legumes and nuts carry with them variety and number of fungi and bacteria that can cause decay of the seed or grains organs in presence of moisture such decay can be avoided if seeds are dried in air or seeds are treated with heated air until the moisture content is reduced fruits and different type of pulps can be stored dry for a long time period and then it becomes disease free due to low moisture for example grapes figs pulps can be dried in sun to keep away from fungi and bacterial infections the next method is refrigeration this is most widely used effective method for controlling post harvest diseases of the fleshy plant or fruits or vegetables the low temperature up to 4 degree centigrade freezing state or below that inactivates the fungi and bacteria and prevent the disease formation next method is radiation this is rarely used because it is costly method for controlling post harvest diseases of fleshy plant various types of electromagnetic radiations such as uv light alpha particle beta particles gamma particles x rays have been ability to control post harvest of diseases or fruits or vegetables by killing the pathogens present on different plant parts so plant parts may be seeds fruit all leaves pods stem post harvesting infections of peach strawberry tomato by some fungal pathogens so these 
pathogens will get reduced in their number and there is a application of radiations to the fruits or vegetables next method is biological method this method is used to protect the plants from pathogens utilization of the antagonistic microorganisms to the infected plant parts destroys plant pathogens biocontrol products and microorganisms have ability to produce antibiotics or enzymes against the pathogens by attacking the cell components of pathogens thousands of microorganisms have been identified to interfere with the growth of plant pathogens in laboratory greenhouse or in fields bioproducts control plant diseases let us see this table biocontrol products are available commercially in the market bacterial products galatrol nogal companion kodiak biojet spotless biosave 10 lp 110 fungal products aq biofungicide aspire biotoxi Trichodex, Trichojet, Niprol, Bioderma, Guard. All these products are with antagonist, with different strains. For example, Agarobacterium radiobacter strain eighty four, strain one thousand twenty six, Bacillus subtilis strain GB zero three, Pseudomonas aerophacens. Pseudomonas syringi, Ampelomyces quisquatum, ten, Candida oleophila, one, one eighty two, Fusarium oxyspora, Trichoderma horizianum, Trichoderma veridi. These antagonists acts on pathogen and reduces the diseases. then the next method is chemical method this is most common method used to protect the plants from pathogens it is useful to reduce plant disease in fields greenhouse or stored plant products chemicals are used to inhibit germination growth and multiplication of pathogens for example herbicide pesticide fungicide bactericide nematicide insecticides such chemicals are used to control foliage or above ground parts of the plant these chemicals are used to protect seeds tubers bulbs fruits vegetables the application method in the field are common and these are like dusting spraying or fumigation see this slide it includes information about name of the chemical reducing different diseases some inorganic chemicals are used to reduce disease copper compounds bordex mixture fungicide with copper sulfate and calcium hydroxide sulfur compounds fungicide in the form of powder paste or liquid carbonate compounds sodium bicarbonate bicarbonate salts of ammonium potassium lithium phosphate compounds monopotassium phosphate dipotassium phosphate reduces fungal bacterial blight diseases leaf spot diseases anthracnose diseases black spot of roses like diseases
this table shows information about organic chemicals which are able to reduce different diseases sulfur compounds ethylene dithiocarbamates fungicides thyram forbam nebam monep jinep monocoff mancojep dithiocarbamic acid diethen 45 diethen 78 quinones aromatic compounds pentachloro nitrobenzene dichloram chlorothalonyl biphenyl heterocyclic compound captain organophosphate fungicide pyrimidine triazoles antibiotic streptomycos streptomycin cyclobenzamide nematode carbamates organophosphates isothiocyamates all these organic chemicals control leaf spot blight fruit rot smut rust diseases leaf lesion diseases powdery mildew diseases insect infection of the plants then we will see about role of quarantine fungi bacteria virus amelodes other organisms infect to various crop or economic important plants these pests and pathogens present in air soil or on the seed surface which reduce the quantity and quality of the production feet pathologist e c stackman said weeds insect pest and plant diseases reduce the potential agricultural production in us by 23% various methods of disease control are exclusion eradication protection therapy resistance and biocontrol or biological control method quarantine means to keep material in isolation to prevent the spreading of the disease all introduced plant materials are thoroughly inspected for contamination with disease and insect pest this process is called quarantine the rules prescribing them are called as a quarantine rules plant quarantine is defined as rules and regulations given by governments to regulate the introduction of plants planting material plant products soil living organism with a view to prevent introduction of exotic pest plant introductions could be in form of new crop varieties from new crop variety germ plasms are collected for crop diversification or germ plasm the new crop varieties are useful it is in the form of primitive land races or wild relative of the crop plants germ plasm from centers of origin and crop diversity may possess valuable genes for resistance against pathogens these germ plasms are with high yield early maturity cold drought salinity tolerance and quality traits like increased oil protein content and nucleic acid like good characters so all these good characters are present in the germ plasm plant quarantine services prevent entry of hazardous pest pathogen weeds and supports to entry of valuable genetic resources that is germ plasm with good quality character these activities are mean to help agricultural development 
प्लांट क्वारंटाइन ऑफिशियल्स मस्ट ट्राई टू प्रोवाइड एडिक्वेट सेफ गार्ड्स टू एलो स्मूथ फ्लो ऑफ जर्म प्लाजम रिसोर्सेस इन ए हेल्दी स्टेट दे शूड ट्राई टू एन्श्योर दैट द जर्म प्लाजम वेन रिसीव्ड इन क्वारंटाइन स्टेशन इज प्रोसेस्ड प्रॉम्प्टली बाय प्लांट क्वारंटाइन ऑफिस एंड दीज जर्म प्लाजम आर प्योर ड्यू टू कल्चरल फिजिकल केमिकल और बायोलॉजिकल कंसिडरेशंस द मूमेंट एंड सेल ऑफ ट्यूबर बल्ब सीड नर्सरी स्टॉक फ्रूट ट्रीज वेजिटेबल्स कॉम्स बिटवीन एंड विद इन द स्टेट्स आर कंट्रोल्ड बाय द रेग्युलर एजेंसीज ऑफ द स्टेट प्लांट क्वारंटाइन सर्विस एट डिफरेंट लेवल्स इज द बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस टू प्रिवेंट हार्मफुल डिसीजेस क्वारंटाइन सर्टिफाइड मटेरियल्स आर फ्री फ्रॉम पैथोजिन्स एंड विथ आई एस आई मार्क मटेरियल एग्जामिन्ड बाय फ्यूमिगेशन हीट और केमिकल ट्रीटमेंट्स और टिश्यू कल्चर मेथड्स मटेरियल इज इम्पोर्टेड इन टू इंडिया विथ वैलिड इम्पोर्ट परमिट ऑफ सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट मटेरियल इज सर्टिफाइड बाय डिजाइनड इंस्पेक्शन अथॉरिटी नैशनल ब्यूरो ऑफ प्लांट जेनेटिक रिसोर्सेस न्यू दिल्ली हैज बीन डिजाइनड एज द नैशनल नोडल एजेंसी फॉर एक्सचेंज ऑफ जर्न प्लाजम मटेरियल ऑफ एग्री हॉर्टिकल्चरल क्रॉप्स फॉर रिसर्च पर्पज इट हैज ऑल्सो एंट्रस्टेड विथ क्वारंटाइन रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज इन रिस्पेक्ट टू जर्न प्लाजम ऑफ दीज क्रॉप्स The director of NBPGR has been empowered to issue permits for import of seeds for research purpose. Most of the plant material enters in the country as air mail parcels or passengers going abroad also bring seed material with them. various research institutions under the indian council of agricultural research and council of scientific and industrial research system agricultural universities state departments of agriculture and private individuals or agencies are ultimate users of the introduced germ plasm material it is useful for crop improvement a plant quarantine declaration card similar to custom declaration card should be introduced for passengers traveling to india in india introduced plant material is examined by nbpgr at amritsar chennai bombay kolkata delhi and madras by the rule and regulation of the quarantine so this was about a role of the quarantine Thank you